Hey guys, Mike Akina from MKO Studio. And today we're having a couples challenge. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? We are going to do a strainer challenge. Strainer challenge. Yes. So these are some strainers that I got from Amazon. We got a pack of six. Mine is silicone. His is plastic and silicone top and he's taped around. Why'd you tape it, honey? All right, so if you guys can see in here, we got these little swipes, little curls to this strainer. And what I want to do is I want to put this down and fill my paint. And I don't want to just keep running out. So that's why I taped around the edges here. It's going to run out a little bit, but only at a low level. And then I want to go ahead and pick this up and turn and turn and turn and, cool. and see, see how the colors lay out that way. Yeah. So, give me something different. Mine has heart shapes, little bitty heart shapes. That okay, you'll never see. So, we're going to see if I get some little heart shapes. I'm going to base mine out with some Artist Loft Black that we had added glitter and metallic to before in another video. We had some left over, and I figured, mm, that might be interesting. So, we'll give that a shot. And I'm going to base mine out in Artist Loft Unbleached Titanium. I just wanted something besides white or black. So, it's, it's a tan color. How come we got four boards, babe? We are going to do a strainer pour, but after that, we're going to do what's called the dip technique. So how do we do the dip? Well, I saw my grandson do it. Yes, I did that with Braxton on one of the prior videos. Okay, so Kina, we, we, this originally started with us doing a double bottom, yada, yada, yada. Uh, reverse slippity doo da. But <laughs> <laughs> she has tried with paper towels. She has tried with plastic. And I said... Next time you do a, a double bottom pour to get that flower, I said, why don't I just take another painting that's already wet and then just push that down and lift it up. It'll get the diffusion that you guys are looking for with the flowers. So we're going to do with that with this, but not going to get too much diffusion on these little teeny boards. So then we went to the strainer thing. So we're still going to do the strainer. But then we're going to dip this. To dip. To dip, dip. I'm going to do the dip. The dip. So anyway, <laughs> we got to do both boards, though, because this has to be wet when you put it down. If you put it down dry, you're not going to get your cover. Yep. You know, your yep. outside. You have to put it down dry. No, we're putting it down wet. I'm putting it down wet. Oh, okay. You dry it all you want. I'm wet in mine. Okay, you because I want to have some sort of negative space here. When I dip this over, I want the... Okay, we're going to have a trial. I'm not going to wet my board and I dip it down. <laughs> All right. That's the technique. But he's changing it up a little bit, so that's fine. I'm going outside the box. Outside the box. What colors are you using? I am using Artist Love Metallic White. I'm also going to be using DecoArt Dazzling Metallics Festive Red, DecoArt Extreme Sheen Metallic Sapphire, and Artist Loft Metallic Lemon Yellow. And I'm hoping if I add some of these primary colors together, I may get green and I may get some purple. Let's and I'm probably going to pour out sometime or another this leftover paint I had. It's called Artist Loft Old Gold. Just some I had left over, so I thought, why not? Might put a little bit of gold in there. What are colors are you using? Well, I've struggled for, what, 25 minutes about <laughs> colors? Do you ever struggle trying to figure out what colors you're going to use? I mean, uh, something attracts me to purple. And then, you know, the only thing that goes with purple is, like, blue. And, oh, you want to go feminine, you can go pink. I, I tried looking at green with purple. It's like, that just does not go. I was, I was going ballistic, and then I started in some metallics to the green. And see, all right, we're going for some heavy metal stuff. <laughs> I'm using Artist Loft Copper, uh, Deco Art Dazzling Metallic Simmering, simmering sh <laughs> Shimmering Silver. <laughs> Good one. You like that? Yeah. And some Artist Loft Metallic Bronze. And some Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic 24 Four Garrett gold, gold because. 24 uh, you know, Garrett Gold. So he's got metals. Metals on top of a black, sparkly metallic paint, hopefully. 
Sounds like it's gonna be awesome. All right. So you're you you're saying I'm supposed to do that dry? Yeah, but you do it how you want. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's the thing about art. You can try things. You can do anything you want. Yeah, just go with it. Now right, we're gonna go ahead and base our boards. We have a uh, six by eight canvases we're using. High dollar stuff. Got them at the Dollar Tree. If you're gonna play, play on the cheap canvas. Yeah. Let's start. Start off with my best of red. Let's see if we can get some purple with this. The blue. I'm letting mine flow. Is it flowing? Yeah. I'm going to turn it here. Oh, yeah. That's my uh, objective. Um, yeah, well, something like that. That was my thought process. I'm just playing. See what comes of it. Me too. Load, 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 huh? I got a lot on mine. You're going crazy. Yeah, let's go crazy. Pop some bubbles inside of it. Don't need big ones. Man, just look at this cool drop that I dropped here. Look at it diffusing into the black baby. I just accidentally dropped some gold. You see oh, how it just cool. diffuses out? Mm -hmm. That 24 karat gold is no joke. ridiculous. I'm shooting for negative space. Don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm going to spin mine right here in the center. Oh, cheater. Oh, look at that final finish. Oh, yeah. That was good. I like that. That's very uh, hippie. Hippie-ish. Totally 70s, dude. So I'm doing like a quarter turn. I'm actually getting some really cool pedal looks. Are you? I really am. Good thing for me, I have handles. Hmm. So I'm raising it up so that I'm actually off the paint a hair. I'm gonna let the rest of the paint drip through. All right. It's actually really pretty cool. Almost looks like a mum in a way. So they don't have much silver in them.
came out much cooler than I anticipated. I'm gonna tilt mine. I'm blowing the edges. Don't get it, girl. I got that thicker paint around my black edge. So it's gonna really slow me from rolling it there. That's all right. No way, it's good. It's a buffer because I want I want negative space. So I love those colors. It's really turning out so much better than I anticipated. Definitely interesting. Yes, I like it. I do too. Now we're gonna see what happens when we dip it. When it, it dries, that thing's gonna be awesome. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens when we dip it too. You torch my paint? Nope, I'm not touching your paint. Oh, anymore. you torch my paint? <laughs> didn't touch it. Oh, I know you didn't touch it. Not yet. Just wait for the right moment when it's perfect. Bam. Hip check me or. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. That's that's kind of stuff I would do. Yeah. This is just stretching my imagination. Yeah, it's awesome. You ready to dip? I'm going to dip. Well, let's dip it. You put it down and just slide it slightly around. All right. Here we go. We're going to dip. And you pull straight up. Mm-hmm. And get the suction released. If you can get the suction released. Ooh. Awesome. Ah. I'm going to have to drag this. Oh, that is pretty cool, though. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Iron butterfly wings. Done. Yes. It's a two piece. Awesome. Iron butterfly wings. And here's mine. And I don't know. I mean, see, I've got some dry spots, whereas you colored yours. It's actually turned out to be a very autumn -y color. Oh yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Mine's psychedelic. Yours is so psychedelic. Yeah, man. I like <laughs> it, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You had fun? <laughs> I did, did you? I sure did. It was a quick one. Quickie. Mwah. Love you. Hey, so guys, remember, till next time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Share our videos. Like them. Like us. And also, ring the bell, ring ding, the ding, bell. Ding. and uh, click twice, hit all, and you'll be notified every time MKO Studio puts out a new video. We appreciate all of you watching our videos and your support and your love. If you have any questions, let us know. We love comments. We love challenges. Challenges. Anything Challenge you'd us. like to see us do, please let us know. Until next time, y'all, be blessed. Bye-bye.